MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the long ball beasts and the expansion era boomers. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Nolan Ryan, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matt, this is one of the game's all-time best pitchers. Over 300 career wins, and he's been doing his thing for a long time. It'll be interesting to see if he can continue that solid work in this one today, Matt. Striding in, Craig Biggio. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. and First pitch, 4 o'clock. Here it comes. Nope, inside, ball three. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Hit hard on the ground at first. Scooped up, and he'll take this to the bag himself, and there's your first out of the ball game. Into the box now, Tony Gwynn, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. And the pitch. one -oh. Now the 1-0. -oh. Win is undoubtedly one of the best hitters in the sport, and it doesn't matter right-handed or left-handed pitching, he's one of the elite threats with a bat in his hands. Two and one. One out, nobody on. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw in time at first for out number two. The third baseman, Kipper Jones. Striding into the box, Chipper Jones. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a ball, 1-0. Ball and a strike. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Outside, two and one. Here's the pitch. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Here now the two two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And here is the big hurt, Frank Thomas. Has a look, now the pitch. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Now you could tell right there that curveball had some serious depth to it. That's what separates the good ones from the bad ones. That nasty spin rate, get that downward action. You even get a star player like this swinging at something in the dirt. A 
high fastball is in there. One and two to Frank Thomas. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2 but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one and the inning is over. So they pick up no runs on no hits no errors and one man left on on now to the bottom of inning number one with no score after a half an inning. Greg Maddox takes the mound for the Beasts today. What do you have for us on him Danny. Well this guy's kind of unique. How about a five pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties and if he's on he could be really tough to hit. Now at the plate Ricky Henderson it lead things off here in the bottom Leading half of the first. The left fielder. Ricky. Here's the pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 1. Popped him up. Ripken in foul ground. He's got it one away. Batting set. The second baseman. Go! Morgan! So the base is empty here with one away. And Joe Morgan strides up to the plate. First offering on its way. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. Bases are empty. One man out. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. A ball and two strikes now. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Now the pitch. And he chased it in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Morgan is retired. Two down now. Coming to the plate now. Ken Griffey Jr. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. This guy loves to drop the head on those pitches down and in. I'm shocked he went in there, but he's able to jump ahead and get away with it. And it's a ball and a strike to Ken Griffey Jr. Junior awaits the 1 1. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's 2 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Now, this pitcher's feeling the flow right now. Two outs in the first inning. He's got really nice mechanics working right now and blew that fastball right by him. Full count, 3 and 2. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Payoff pitch one more time. 
And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. So a runner at first with two away, and here is Mr. October, Reggie Jackson. From the belt, kicks and deals. And he offers it the circle change and misses 0-1. Hey, what a great pitch right there in a big situation to pull a string on that changeup. He knew that hitter was going to be super aggressive. On its way, the 0-1 pitch is put in play to the right side of the infield. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. We've played an inning. No score here on the show. All set for the start of the inning, and next will be the power hitting catcher, Mike Piazza. First pitch coming, here it is line drive to center field and that finds some outfield grass it's a base hit so the leadoff man reaches base to start out their half of the second inning even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle Into the box, Gary Sheffield. As he'll take a look at ball one. Piazza aboard here at first with nobody out. That evens it up one and one. a look now the pitch on the ground to the left side the second for one on to first and they get them both batting seven the shortstop Cal Richard so base is empty now after the double play and digging in is the big time power threat Cal Ripken first pitch on its way Hit sharply on the ground. Pop steps on first, and that'll end the inning. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Settling in now, Mike Schmidt. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. First delivery to him on the way. Played an in, hits a ball and a strike. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. Now the one and one pitch. Is strike two swinging. One and two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. So now to the plate, Willie Stargell. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Ball and a strike. Well, he's following the code not to miss down and into a lefty everything on the outer half of the plate.
Now the one and one pitch. Taken strike two. Bottom of the second here with no score. The one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed that's coming across the plate. You might think he got a shot to stay inside that one. Two two pitches fouled away. Now here it comes. Oh and this is swung on and missed four strikeouts already and that's out number two. Two up two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there guys. Standing in now Robin Young. As he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. There's strike two on a fastball right down the middle. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. One Not ball. close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. New inning set to get underway, and set to go is the switch hitting outfielder, Shane Victorino. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Grounded back up the middle. And a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. Hey, nice A-B right there. With the pitcher coming to the plate, your job is to get on in front of him. This should be interesting. Does he get the bunt sign? Do we play a little billy ball and pull it back and try and play chicklets with the third baseman? See what happens. In now, Greg Maddox. As he'll square around to bunt, then pull back for ball one. Nobody out, runner on first. And they indeed have the pitcher bunting here as he gets this one down. One there. Throw on to first. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. Uh, he got the bunt down, but he didn't deaden it enough. Really good job by the first baseman to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. Stepping up to the plate, Craig Biggio. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. And he takes ball one. Third inning, no score to this point. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Long run for the left fielder. Lays out, and he's got it. A great play for route number two. Oh, man, definitely need to take another look at that one. This was straight over his head, and that's such a tough play because he really can't see it very well as he's going back. He picks it up at the last minute and makes a ridiculous diving grab. That was insane. Now in the box, Tony Gwynn. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far.
first pitch of the at bat. Fastball swung on and missed. As this game progresses, I don't think he's going to want to miss in that spot down the middle of the plate much more. It's early. They're a little less aggressive right now, so he's able to get away with it. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Here's the 0 and 2. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Still 1 and 2. A runner on first with two away. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Hit out towards second. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, now kept back. his hands inside Good the feet. baseball, and ripped the base Good hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. At the plate now, Chipper Jones. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Two on, two out for him here in the third. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Two men are on with two men out. In there, one and two now. Here comes the one and two. two, ball, two and it's fouled away. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Fame catcher Gary Carter hits next. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit out towards second. He will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Good pitch right there to run the two seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball is the result. 
Stepping in, Nolan Ryan. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now here it comes. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Fouled off. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. He takes three. strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Just flat out frozen there. Nothing too deceptive Number about two. that Number four seam fastball, so I think Marky. he wasn't expecting it at all. Henderson. At the plate, Ricky Henderson. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. It was a fly out for him to start the home first. A ball and a strike. Hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Hole hitter Frank Thomas. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. Here comes the first pitch. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. One and one the count now. Misses badly. It's ball two. Shin high fastball that time. Ball three. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Strike two taken. A fastball that clips the inside black. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. Into the box now, Mike Piazza. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. One for one after a single his first time up. at that one either it's 2 and 0 oh. you never want to fall behind as a pitcher but doing it to a guy like this is even worse he's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat starting right now a bouncer to the left side and there's out number two the bat the left fielder Gary Sheffield Digging in for his second at bat, Gary Sheffield. 
first pitch coming. Here it is. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. A curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Ball Downstairs, down. two balls and no strikes. In the dirt, it's 3 and 0 oh now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two out base runner. Well, they were obviously pitching around him there, and I don't blame them. With the bases empty and two outs, and a hitter of this caliber at the plate, make somebody else beat you. So digging in now, Cal Ripken. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. The he's one going, he's going. Runner goes for second. In there. Now the throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. That's a great call from the dugout to put the runner in motion that time. With two outs and a good hitter at the plate, it's a pretty low-risk play. If he's out, you still got the same good hitter leading off the next inning. But if he's safe, he's in scoring position and a lot easier to drive in. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. A ball and two strikes. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. He's set. The 2-2. Two -two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on 3-2 and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Two out here and a runner at second. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that will bring in the second baseman, Joe Morgan. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A.B., he went down on strikes. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Ken Griffey Jr. is on deck. That won't find the zone either. So speed on base here to begin the inning. It's a four-pitch walk. Well, in a scoreless game, you want to do anything you can to jumpstart your offense. With the speed of this guy on first, don't be surprised if he gets the green light here. Now with the play, Ken Griffey Jr. He drew a walk his first time up. Has a look. Now the pitch. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Good speed at first and good speed with a guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Good arm action on the circle. Change swung on and missed 0-2. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk. Coming right after him here.
0 2 pitch to Junior. Still no balls and two strikes. Hit down the third baseline, but a foul ball, and the count holds at 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch lays off that time and it's one and two. A runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss by Griffey so Junior's a strikeout victim here. Boy he's got great stuff today doesn't he? That's seven punch outs now here in the middle innings. Right he's up Number over nine. one in the inning up to this point. Right It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play. But right now that's just not happening. Now a throw over and he's back standing. Stepping in now, Reggie Jackson. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. He broke out the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. And he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. Two run shot to straightaway center as it's now a 2 0 ball game. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Now to the plate now, Mike Schmidt. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. home he is swung on and missed in that strike one still only one out in the inning and he fouls this one off to shoot the corner and he missed it two and two looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone gave up that home run earlier in the inning needs to get back to being aggressive and he struck him out strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him it's never easy to rebound after serving up a two run shot but that at bat was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get to him he went right after him for the strikeout Into the box, Willie Stargell. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. The 1 0. To first. Fielded cleanly. Thomas will take this one over to first, and with that, the inning ends. Two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. We're through four. It's now a two-nothing ball game. Digging in the switch hitter, Shane Victorino. He reached on a single in his first try. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. 
Oh, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0 and 2. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first out. Now to the plate, Greg Maddox reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Pitch on the way. Oh, and one count and the pitch. One out, nobody on. This is foul right side. The one two. Lifted into center field. Griffey waits on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting, second baseman, Craig Biggio. Ready for another shot now, Craig Biggio. He was robbed of a hit in his last at-bat, so he'll try to change his fortunes here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. And this misses outside and a bit high. One ball, no strikes. That misses 2 and 0. Oh. Now here's the pitch. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Here's a topper fouled off to the right, and that'll even the count at two and two. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Riding in once again, Robin Young, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Sheffield is there. One pitch, one out. Now batting, Hector, Gary, Carter. Stepping up now, Gary Carter. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The 0 1. Grounded weakly toward third. Throw on to first takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. Now back, the pitcher, Nolan Ryan. Now at the plate, Nolan Ryan. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. Two out, nobody on. Inside and low, two and one. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. And sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. A 
not an easy pitch to lay off of but he did somehow and he's got it to three and one. Ricky Henderson would be next. The three and one pitch. That's popped up. Biggio shading to his right and that retires the side. Digging in once again, Tony Gwynn. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Right fielder coming on. He's not going to get to it. So the leadoff guy's aboard with a base hit. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of a baseball season. Bottom line is this guy has bat-to-ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. In now, Chipper Jones, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Hey, this is a perfect opportunity for them to get on the board right now. Leadoff man has done his job. Now the middle of the order gets their shot at the plate. Comes set, and the 0-1. Two takes, and now he's down 0-2. I'm not sure, but he may have been taking to give the guy at first a chance to run. Swing and a miss by Chipper, and he's down on strikes. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. You think you can drive it, but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here's a look over to first. Runner back standing. And again a throw. And he'll dive back in safely. Runner at first here, one man out. Fouled away. Again, he sends it out of play. The next 0 2. A bullet to first base. And they will apply the tag between first and second. It's a double play, and just like that, the side is retired. On to the bottom of inning number six. The Boomers lead it two to nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Ricky Henderson. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The 1 0. A bouncer up the middle. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. So now to the plate, Joe Morgan, as he'll take a look at a high strike here on the outside corner. It's 0-1. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 
70 percent of the batters he's faced he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Oh and one here it comes. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's one and two. You know, that almost works like a pitch out there. Maybe you get the guy to chase out of the zone, but at the very least, it gives the catcher something good to throw if the man on first is on the move. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. That was another good pitch and a tough call that could have gone either way. He couldn't get him to bite on it again, so the count's gone from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2. Now the payoff pitch home, and that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Two ways to look at this walk. If you're the hitting coach, you say, that's a great A-B. Down 0-2 and you yeah. work the walk. But if you're a pitcher like me, that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook. And that can really frustrate you. Ready for another chance? Ken Griffey Jr. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0-2. And yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. O2 pitch to Junior. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone. O2 in a big spot, and he was able to spit on that one. Hopefully, get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And Junior lays off that one and the counts back even at two and two. In the dirt here. The runners will hold tight, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. And he lays off nope. there. Ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Reggie Jackson will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. First pitch on its way. Pitcher on the mound has to find a way to minimize damage right here. Gotta believe he's willing to trade two outs for a run. Now a good pitch on the inside part of the plate ties him up and it's one and one. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely. So I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. Tight spot. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Line towards center field. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. And the runner from second is in to score. That makes it a 4-0 ball game. 
They now, not hit all that hard, so D-Roll. He muscled it out there for a two RBI base hit. Yeah, I don't care, Dan. Lawn dart, off the end of the bat, jam sandwich, doesn't matter. Found You're himself some green, green grass and gets two ribbies. Al Leiter comes Al on now in an awfully Leiter. difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Into the box now, Mike Schmidt, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. First and second here with nobody out. Two balls and no strikes to Mike Schmidt. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Here it comes, 2-0. and oh. And it's fouled away. Two one, here it is. Three and one. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. The three and one pitch. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Now back, first baseman, Willie. Stepping into the box, Willie Stargell. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. From the stretch. Well. When you're hitting in a situation like this, you have to find a way to slow your heart rate down. The pitcher's the one with all the pressure. You're looking to keyhole something, middle of the plate, and drive some runs in. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Line down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. Bases loaded here. Nobody out. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him, so we'll see what pitch he comes with next. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. He showed right there why having a good changeup is so valuable. Two and two, and he flips one up there that the bottom really falls out at the last minute. It's so hard to pick up, and it's even harder to make good contact with. At the plate now, Robin Young. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. That's wide, 2 0. Oh. Nowhere to put anybody. 2 0 oh count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. Bases are loaded here, one man out. Two balls and a strike. Hey, you get 2-0, your eyes light up. But you're sitting in one spot, and he obviously didn't get it right there. But he still finds himself in a 2-1 count, ready to do some damage. From the belt, kicks and deals. Fouled off. The 2-2. Two -two. 
is laid off and the count runs full. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you can't be too upset with a sack fly. So coming to the plate, Gary Carter. Three across so far in the inning and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. First pitch on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first and an important pitch there as they get out of the inning before things explode. So they pick up three runs on only two hits in the inning. No errors and two left. We're through six full. The Boomers are on top five to nothing. Seventh inning ready to roll. And next will be the imposing power bat, Mike Piazza. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. And he fouls this one off. Now the one and one pitch. It's a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Outside and a full count three and two and it's late to his afternoon of work and the longer this at bat goes the better of chance of him making a mistake but as a guy starts to tire they're more likely to leave the ball up but man he's been good so far count remains full the next three two Swung on and missed strike three. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old fashioned hardball right now. Just rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Standing in now, Gary Sheffield. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. It was a walk in his last trip. Swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0-2. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. Cue shot here out towards short. And an easy play out there as this is taken for the second out. The batter, number eight. Short ball. Cal Ripley Green. At the plate, Cal Ripken. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a cold strike on the outside part of the plate. Hey, sometimes you have to look at it like it's not how or how many. Pitching very well into this one into the late innings. And his first pitch strike percentage, less than 50%. He'd like it to be a lot higher than that. He's making it very difficult on himself, but he's still getting outs. 
He's got it. Hop steps on first, and that'll end the inning. Starting to run out of innings here as they are unable to cut into the deficit. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. It's a lead for the expansion era, five to nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Nolan Ryan. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Now the one and one pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Right fielder coming on, but this will land untouched. Again, another foul ball. Again, a one two. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it. So it's a backwards K for him. To the plate now, Ricky Henderson. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1 0. That's Bolton. Faces are empty, one man out. And here's a fastball for a strike, two and one now. Ball three. And obviously, this guy's a double threat up there. He can run and he can go yard, too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you, but you don't want to groove a fastball either because he can take you out of the yard. And he looks at ball four now, so he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3 1 count, and the ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that, though. Delivery to him on the way. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. Clearly, they're not satisfied with the lead they're working with right now, and I like that. You don't want to disrespect your opponent and do that in a blowout game, but I don't think you can get comfortable with a five-run lead, and now they've got a chance to add on to it. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate. For him to take those first two pitches right there, finds himself 0-2, I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact, and he'll get another chance. And another foul ball. One out and a runner on second base. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. In now, Ken Griffey Jr. as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 0. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Ready with the 1 0. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. A 
one one. Still even at two and two. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The two two one more time. First baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Fouled away. Ready with another 2 2. And the 11th pitch is the charm as he strikes him out to end the inning. Riding forward now, Shane Victorino. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. The pitcher, Al Ryder. Mudge Rodriguez will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Popped up. Stargell has room in foul territory, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The seven. Well, these fans have been treated to a fine outing out of their hometown starter as we give you a look at the numbers here. A big zero in the run column on the right-hand side of your screen. Standing in, Craig Biggio. Fourth trip to the plate now, and he's hitless to this point. Yeah, he and his teammates have really been shut down by some very good pitching in this one. Been fun for a guy like me to watch. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Coming up on the century mark in pitches now through the first seven and two thirds. And he's going to empty the bucket right here. He sees the finish line, Dan, and he's got a chance at this. Well, there's no doubt about it right now. And what makes it easier, too, from a manager's standpoint right now, you could probably just go to one guy in the bullpen to finish this game. A terrific job, seven and two-thirds up to this point. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Bases are empty here with two men out. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. And this is pulled fouled as he was way out in front there.
the 3 2 one more time. And it's fouled away. Hey, this is a heck of a battle right here. Long AB. You know what? They find themselves still facing the starter. If they would have had some ABs like this earlier in the game, I, I think they get into the bullpen by this time. Another full count pitch home. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. And when your pitch count gets to over 100, you've got to expect them to lose a little bit of accuracy out there. And I think if he gets into any more trouble, they might come get him. We'll see if he can finish strong. Now batting, Tony Gwynn. Two hits in three at-bats for him in this one. From the stretch. Two out with the man at first. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to hunt him as that ends the inning. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Boomers are out in front here, five to nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. So a new pitcher coming on now, now as the right-hander Eric, Eric Gagne gets Gagne. the call here. So here's the cleanup hitter, Reggie Jackson. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Reggie. First pitch of the at bat. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The next 0-2 is taken for ball one. Basic pitching right there. 0-2 fastball up and out of the zone. Change the eye level. Now time to go to that curveball down and away. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. And now pitch on the way. Count it 3-2. Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2, and, and that last pitch on 2-2, two and two, wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Ready now with the payoff pitch. is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eighth. Now batting, the third baseman. So striding in, Mike Schmidt. It was a walk in his last trip. Throw over. 
over to the bag and he has to dive but he's back in easily. Here comes the first pitch. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Oh, he had him fooled there. No That's balls and two in. strikes. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Here it comes on nothing and two. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Misses ball two. Here now the two two is a swing and a miss that's strike three. I really liked it. He gave up nibbling out of the zone trying to get him to chase. That Down wasn't back. working, so he just reached back and fired a good old country hardball fastball right by him. No better feeling in the world when you're a pitcher than throwing a fastball right by a guy. At the plate, Willie Stargell. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Oh, one here's the pitch missed low and inside with it one and one runners on first with one down high in the air out to center field Victorino is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting, shortstop, Robin Coming to the plate now, Robin Young. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. First things first, here's a throw over. And he'll dive back in. He's set, here it comes. Strike called. Now the throw down. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. The three of us are back after this message and a word from our local stations. All set to start the ninth in this one. And that'll give way to the third baseman, Chipper Jones. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. That fastball really got away from him there. That's kind of a red flag for me that he's starting to tire or wear down a little bit. The first thing that goes is location and then your mechanics. We'll see if this continues. No 2-0 oh now. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The first baseman, number 35, Frank Connor. Stepping in, Frank Thomas. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In there, 0 and 1. 0 1 for Kemp. One out, nobody on. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Oh. 
good waste pitch one and two. Wow that's a close pitch to take but when you're a good hitter like this guy to take that pitch on 0 and 2 you have to have a pretty good eye. Popped him up Morgan is there and that's the second out of the inning. So stepping in, Mike Piazza. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. First pitch on its way. No balls and a strike to count. Two out, nobody on. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Two and one to Piazza. The 2 1 home. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. He makes the catch and they get a complete game shutout from their starter as this ball game is over. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. 5 nothing. the final score today. The Boomers claim the victory despite being held to only three hits. Nolan Ryan pitches well enough to get the W, so that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score. First for your victorious home team. Five runs on three hits. No errors. They left five men on base. For the Bees, no runs, four hits. No errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 54 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please... Drive home safely.